Okay, so the uh, genie's been let out the lamp that we are in fact this year going to be doing Disney's Aladdin Junior and obviously from our point of view although it's, it seems like it's six months away in fact um, as weeks go it doesn't give us a great deal of time to start getting the props and building all sorts of weird and wonderful things from flying carpets right the way through to caves and, and imaginary lands and of course part of the uh, props or the main prop is in fact the genie lamp which is what we're starting to model now so the idea is we're starting to model it now and we can start the 3d print just in case there's any issues with what we've got so i'm just at the stage now where i'm finishing off designing the lamp and there's been quite a bit of sculpt on this so this software package that i'm using is what we call a solid modeling package and it's a bit like you can add um solids or or various things on rather than a surface area where i could just shell it out so it just give me an opportunity to shape things quite easy. So at the moment what we've got is the um, the spout and the main body done. So obviously it's going to be knocked about a bit. But what I have tried to do, as people can hopefully see from here, is we've got two eyes on this bit. That bit that looks like a nose. And then a very sharp sort of mouth that comes around here. So it, although it's not meant to look like a face because it's a lamp I've sort of tried to design it so it has got some features we can personify so the next stage for me to do is to draw the um, handle which goes onto the back and you can see from here as well so I have made it slightly bigger just because it, it makes it easier to be seen um, as well but as I'm going down all the uh, different extrusions and rounds and chamfers that I've placed on. You can see all the independent sort of sculpting that I've done on there. So what I'm going to have to do now is to create a work plane and to do that, if I just zoom out a little bit so if I put it back into Trimetric and just zoom out a little bit and what I will need to do is select the work plane. So all these green lines are different work planes that I've set up to either extrude or cut things through and one of them that you can see going through down here is this one here which is to identify uh, itself as I believe the frontal which it is okay so I'm going to click back onto the frontal there and I'm just going to add a new sketch onto here and from there let's go back to that work plane just zoom in a little bit maybe half scale and zoom in on the bit that we need which will be around here somewhere And I can start to draw my object in from here. So um, what I'm going to do now is just try and draw a solid part from this work plane. And I'll have to do this in two halves to make the handle. So we've decided that the handle is going to start from here. And maybe as tall as this part. Maybe it's an angle from there. And it's going to come across so 180 a normal hand grip would need about 90 um, from there so that should be fine from here and what we can do then is literally put a chamfer on some of these edges in a second so we'll just come to um, the line I'm just trying to draw out what the profile might look like um, as a shape here Now I'll only be able to extrude this if it's a close profile. So what we have to do um, with these profiles when they're done is make sure that we've got some of these edges 
and let's cut across so I can just trim these now. I should shade to say that we've got um, a profile on there. If it hasn't, then there's a line somewhere that isn't connected or isn't straight. So what I'm going to do now is just add a chamfer in. So let's put a chamfer in from there to there, and a chamfer from there to there. All right, so that's gone wrong. So let's try that again. A chamfer from here maybe to there then. Chamfer from there to there. Chamfer from there to there. Okay, so control Z. No, it's not like you have chamfer on there. Let's try another one then while we're waiting. That's all right. So I'm just sculpting this in the areas that I think that this should be. So I can see why that's not, and it's that little dot there, and then it should shade. So we've got that around. So I'm still going to carry on chamfering though. See if we can. See if it lets me. Should do. Still not liking that one. So I'll just see if I can round that one through. That's quite fine. And that's looking okay to me. And we'll just need to make a little feature at the bottom where actually we'll do that one separate so we can make it like a ball shape. So I'll just undo that one. And we'll go to the next stage. So the next stage literally is to extrude this as a profile. So I need to be able to see what it is that I'm doing here and if I go to feature extrude and I want to extrude it this way by maybe 10 if we come to OK and then also because that's done on the one side I need to extrude the other side as well so if I go to feature extrude profile again this time I type in 10 but I do it below the work plane and we should now have the handle attached to it okay so we are going to round these off a little bit as well so if I just um, select these edges first just to round where I think these need to be so let's just zoom in a little bit let's see what we're actually doing here there we go so if I go to feature round edges uh, I'll have to do this manually. So it's not saying it's going to give me much of a, a round on there at all. Maybe if I did the two. No, it's not liking that. So if I um, escape out of that one, just put cancel. Let's see if it will do it as a, a complete side. So if I go to feature, round edges. Let's see if it will round different parts. And, and probably not more than one millimeter by the looks of it and that might be to push it I'll try that one see if it does yeah so it's saying it's not going to do that so somewhere there's something causing a bit of an issue that's not a problem so let's try doing it this way from the round face so if I click onto these faces now hopefully this should Allow me to round and of course the, the idea is because we've free free skilling this one and, and there's no actual plans or measurements to it it does give us some scope where we can see if it'll allow us to do things in different ways so it's giving us an option there whether that will allow us to do it I'm not sure no it's saying not so there must be a complex curve here where it's stopping it from doing it let's try 
one last time doing this one so feature around edges way let me around this one it's sort of joining them all together here and it's let me do it that time so you can see how it's sort of rounded apart on both sides of that one thing but look let's just move around yeah so it's done both both sides of there on the edges and I've just now got to do the internal one from there so let's just zoom in again and of course we're gonna put loads of different features on this one as well so we're gonna try if we can and put loads of jewels on make it look a bit more spectacular obviously it'll be spray gold so I'm just gonna try and round this one um, round edges And there we have it. Um, we've got now the handle onto this part. Let's just zoom in so we can see where we've got. And so that's how we've 3D or will be 3D printing our model from there. Now, of course, we can't 3D print this all in one go, so we're going to have to section this and build it up in different parts. And I'll quickly just show you how that's done. Yeah, you can, you can hopefully see the face, with the two eyes that I've tried to do here. And nose in the mouth and obviously the neck down there so how would we do this originally I'm just going to save that one first of all just in case anything goes wrong and we're going to be doing this in two parts so what I need to do is block it and remove half of it from here so if I go to um, well actually what we'll do is see what it looks like first um, as an object so let's click onto our image new image click onto the lamp um, and this will render it hopefully so let's just change image update properties image image properties turn it on to presentation effects um, background let's, let's have some clouds why not um, click into there make it look more Aladdin like and we need to change the material so before I do set the material though I'm just going to set it into a color so I can have a good look around it um, just to see if there's any faults. So let me just uh, have a quick look. It's just this handle really I want to get a view on if I can. Yeah, that looks okay. So what we need to do now is see what it looks like in the material and we're gonna obviously spray it as gold. So from here, if just go to image, um, image properties, that's okay, that's okay, image, okay, click on to okay, need to select the material, image, show material, and we're going to set this as, um, it's going to be metal, and we're going to have it as, um, usually brass polish will come up better than gold polish, we'll try the gold polish here. Yeah, so we've got a lot of reflection on there, as you can see from there. So let's try the uh, the brass polished. It's usually a darker colour. Yeah, that's a lot better. Still got a lot of reflection on there though. So I can change the light source, see if we can get rid of the reflection. But it gives us the idea of what the lamp will actually look like without those parts so that's good so I'm just going to close that one down and go back to this drawing right so the next stage is we need to divide this up so what we can do is because we've drawn on that one let's select our work plane and it's actually this work plane here that we need which is going to identify itself hopefully as the lateral okay so work plane click onto lateral um, new sketch click onto OK and from here, what I am going to do though is offset a work plane. So work plane, click onto new work plane, and I'm just going to call this one split. There it is, split, and I want to offset it. Yes, I do. So from there, let's just move it right in front of that bit, and that should be it. Click onto OK. So click onto split now, new sketch, click onto OK and what I can do now is hopefully separate this just by drawing 
um, a rectangle or a block that will cut through on the center line and that's pretty good to be honest so from there let's sort of take this one away so let's go to feature click onto extrude I'm going to slice right the way through there so we get half of it so we can print onto it subtract the material which is okay and then you can see how we've got the half of it so what I can do as well at this point hopefully it might let me do it is I can actually make this a little bit more hollow rather than set it up on the other sort of um, software we've got I might be able to do it from here it might tell me that I can't because there's quite some very tight curves in here but if I just go to shell solid um, it's not normally it should normally show me how to do that from there so let's, let's try bigger, no, it's not going to let me do that one let's try it smaller then inside yeah, no, it's not going to let me do that one. Um, close, unless I go a little bit um, shorter. Yeah, I well, know a bit sharp. If I undo that one, just going to drop that shell into the waste bin, or nothing else will happen. And try it again. So I click onto um, the face of object and feature shell solids. This time I'm going to have to um, do it as 0.2. See if that'll let me do it. No. Let's try 0.1 then. Feature. So what I'll have to do is, is reset this as a honeycomb then. But you can see how we're going to 3D print um, these bits. If it is too small, then all I'll do is I'll print them in separate parts. So I'll cut it again, then there's a quarter, and just make all four quarters. And then from the four quarters, just add them up. And that will be the start of our lamp. <coughs> so hopefully you've enjoyed just seeing a bit of how we do the 3D modeling ready for the 3D print. And that's okay. What I am going to do is just so I can remember which one it is, is go to the split and just undo the split that we've got from there, which I think is extrusion 17. Let's drop that one back into there, get the lamp back up to full. There we go. And the next stage is to start to 3D print the genie lamp